let's start. We are just going to start with the face. We're going to start with the head. And we're going to start up here on your paper. So we're going to start, it looks like a golf ball. So we're going to go around, kind of like a circle, but we're going to stop. So we're not going to complete the circle. We're just going to make it stop right there. And then I thought the little nose and mouth would be cute if it looked like a heart, except for its okay. upside down heart. So what I did is I started here and I went down and then I made those the bumps that you make when you have a heart. So it looks like an upside down heart. So we're not going to put the, we're going to wait for the nose and the eyes, we're not going to do those yet. So now I think we need to do the body. The body kind of reminds me of like a bowling pin. It's kind of skinny up here and then it gets bigger down, down here. So if we start where the circle is, so we're going to start right where the circle is. And we're going to come down skinny like a bowling pin and then come out. We're going to do the same thing on this side so that way we match. So we start here, go down, and then we're going to go out. So it looks, mine looks like a bowling pin or maybe a penguin body. All right, so we have to add the legs. And the legs, I started with that upside down U. That was like the easiest part to start. So I'm gonna make an upside down U. This is kind of the chest, like right here would be the chest on the dog. So when they sit, you kind of, you see their chest, you might not see their tummy so much because they're sitting. And then we're gonna add legs. And these legs, because they're cartoon legs, they're just going to be kind of skinny with big paws, right? Because if it's a cartoon dog, it can have really big paws. They don't have to be exactly like a, a real dog. So I am going to make one line here and another line there. And we want to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to go one line here and another line there. And then now is when we're gonna draw the big paws. So, I mean, I might make my paws even bigger. So it's kind of like an oval. And then we're doing the same shape on this side. So I'm gonna go out like I'm making an oval, but I'm gonna connect it to the line. So now, the feet, oh, this looks like golf club. They look like golf clubs. Okay, so now what happened is, see here, you, this is the part of the tummy, kind of where the tummy is. So we want to actually connect a line so it doesn't look like it's like floating and, and has no tummy. So I'm going to start right here, kind of where are you, that U shape. And we're just going to make a line. So we are almost done with the legs. So when the dog is sitting, dogs have four legs. So you kind of will see, you're going to see the back legs. Um, but only because it's sitting, you can only see a little bit of leg. So I tried to think of maybe this is like drawing half a heart. So if we draw like half a heart and then maybe some, a toe it will look kind of like it's sitting. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna draw a half a heart and then a toe. So I started right here. Kind of, we're still in the leg area, right? We're still by legs. So I drew a half of a heart and then I drew a toe. But it kind of looks like he's sitting. Remember, he's a cartoon dog, so he's not going to look exactly like a real dog. So same thing on this side. I'm going to draw half of a heart and then another toe. 
Now he looks kind of like he's sitting down. So he's sitting. So now, now there's all these details where you have to do, which they look like a lot, but honestly, they go pretty quick. And we're going to start with those cute little oval eyes. So we're going to have one. And we're going to color them in so that they're nice and dark. And of course, we have to add the nose. The nose, we're just going to do a line. This is almost like a triangle. Except for dogs' noses are a little round, right? They're not, they're not sharp like a triangle. Now he has a nose. Okay, so this is kind of the thing about Irish setters. They have wavy, fluffy fur. So we're still making ears, but when you make your ears, you're going to make them kind of wavy. And then all these little lines are kind of like if they had like their little fluffy hair sticking out. So you can put as many as you want. I'm going to put a lot because I know they have pretty fluffy hair. So we're going to make the same exact ear, but we're going to do it on the opposite side. So start here, we do that wavy line, right? So it's the side of the ear, and then we go up. So now we have two ears. You have to like brush these dogs so much. Oh my goodness. Our dog also has long fur on the side. So we're gonna make sure that it has some fur like sticking out. You can't really see, you know, like the long flowing hair, but you can definitely make it look like it has fuzzy, fuzzy long hair. And I was gonna put a little bit of extra right here in the chest. So just a little long extra hair. And then we've got the feet and legs done. And of course, we have to add a tail. So their tails are really long and they're really, sh they're really furry. So I'm just gonna start kind of by its leg because it's the back of the dog. We're gonna go up and then we're gonna kind of make this be shaggy. And just like the ears, just like all the ears, we're gonna add those little extra hairs. Show that our dog is really furry. He's got a lot of hair. So as many hairs as you want to make sure it looks like a dog with long shaggy hair. So we don't want our dog to look like it's just floating in space. So I added a line, like it looks like it's sitting on the ground. So you can start, sometimes I even make a dot on both sides so I know where I'm going. And I will draw a line, and then I'll draw a line all the way across. Well, his tummy looks like he's sitting, we'll just do that. So now he's sitting on a solid surface, like he's sitting on the ground. And of course dogs, they like toys. So my, my dog for sure likes toys. So I am going to draw a circle. Now you can draw whatever pattern you want. I thought I would draw a striped ball and color that in. And my dog also likes bones. So I'm going to draw a bone. So it's two lines. There's two lines. And then we're going to draw kind of like a heart and do the same on the other side. This is our complete cartoon dog. And I didn't do this because I wanted to be a surprise. What are you going to name your dog? So I'm going to name my dog um, Sparky. Name your dog whatever you want. 